Calves are not all genetics. Imagine if everyone trained their arms as much as they train their legs. You'd be walking around blaming your small arms or genetics too. So it's Eric from Pick 6 Athletics. And Bree Fit. And we're going to show you how to get massive juicy calves and train like an athlete. So in this video, we got the top six calf exercises. Train them like an athlete, get faster, more explosive, and get them bigger. Make sure you watch the whole video because we've got lots of tips throughout the whole thing. So the biggest tip for training your calves is to up the frequency. Lots of guys don't even work them out or just hit them maybe once every couple weeks. Barely even hit your calves. You gotta work them out at least a couple times a week, but really just work them out whenever they're not sore and there's no way that they're not gonna grow. Next is tempo. You gotta perform the exercises at different tempos to keep the muscle moving and working in different ways. Do them slow, slow calf raises, full extension, then hit them fast also, maybe a bit shorter reps and just do a lot more reps at a higher speed. When you're training your calves, it's very important to get a full range of motion. On the way down, pause at the bottom, and on the way up, pause and squeeze to the top as well. And weight is something else to take into account. Sometimes, don't have any weight if you're doing a one leg calf raise or something more challenging and really working on the squeeze, or just doing a lot of reps. You know, you might get 50 reps in or something, just a complete burnout. Sometimes you wanna go really heavy and just keep the muscles working differently and only get maybe six to 10 reps in. Make sure to work at your calves in a seated and sitting position to target different parts of your muscles. And finally, make sure you're working at your calves at different angles. So the five main ones I focus on are normal, shoulder width apart, feet forward calf raise, get feet turned out, calf raise, feet pointed in, calf raise, feet really close, and then feet really wide. And for all these, you wanna make sure that you're still having the weight or force more on the outside of your feet. Because if you think about when you're squatting, jumping or running, that's the way it's gonna be. And if you start moving with the weight on your inside of your feet, that's how you could lead to injuries. You're just not moving as efficiently. Don't forget to always warm up because it will help to prevent injury and get you to moving faster before jumping into the workout. My favorite calf warm-ups would be one, rolling out. You wanna get different angles and go on one leg to make it hurt more and be more effective. Other than just get the muscles moving, you can do anything really like jumping jacks or running through an agility ladder just to get the blood flowing and your muscles ready to use. Then also something like downward dog, you work on your stretching and mobility in your calves and really focus on pushing your heels into the ground and then you can pedal between your legs. So next up, we got the top six calf exercises. If you're an athlete, you might already have big calves already. Some people do because of genetics, but a lot of times it's because of if you're doing cleans that target your calves or just different drills. You know, athletes use their calves in a lot of different ways, but make sure to watch these drills no matter what your calves currently look like because they can always get better and make sure to send this video to somebody you could help out with some tiny calves. So the first one, my favorite calf exercise called the Jalen calf raise because my boy Jalen showed me it. What you want to do is have the band and dumbbells or whatever you can handle and have a plate on you so you can still get a little extension on the way down and go for one minute straight doing as many reps as you can and then take off the plate or take off the band and then do a drop set. So do as many reps as you can with the next thing and then take off all the resistance and then do as many reps as you can without anything. So go dumbbells band, just dumbbells, nothing, and just max out every time. Your calves are really gonna hurt and this will get them big. Next exercise is just you stepped off on a platform and you're really working on the full extension. So call them one leg, full extension, calf raises. You wanna pause at the bottom, really get your foot as dorsiflex as you can and just really pause for a couple seconds and then when you go to the top move up slowly squeeze the top and really contract the muscles think about the muscle get the time under tension there that's what you're really working on and the range is really what's going to be worked in this one because when you get your foot more dorsiflex you could just sink lower into the ground when you're moving around and have more power more control you'll just be a better athlete overall Next up is barbell calf raises. What I like to do here is load up the weight and then just get lower reps in. The perfect to get right after a set of squats and just work a superset there. Also, you could not use a plate here and just really focus on the top part of the exercise, really contract the calves. This is the staircase of calves. 
It's a great at-home exercise, so you can perform 10 to 15 reps each step and you can do it on two or one legs. Then we got explosive calf raises. Go slow on the way down and then really explode on the way up and move as fast as you can. As you do vertical jumps or you're running, you know, some of that power comes from your calves, your ankles, and this is going to really work on that portion of it. So it just makes sense to work on it. The more you do this, the more explosive you become, better vertical, faster you will run. And the last exercise of my top six exercises is just jumps, but you're really just focused on that movement with your calves and your ankles. So we'll call them calf jumps. It's the same principles as the previous exercise, but this is just working on actually getting off of the ground. So it's another great thing you can't miss in your workouts. You can also do pogos instead of doing it on a machine. But either way, just make sure you're getting that work in, isolating your calves and ankles for the part of the vertical. If you're looking to change up the workout, hop on a calf machine. They're all pretty simple to use and will get you a sick pump. Here are some cool down exercises to help you get ready for the next workout and increase your range of mobility. Number one, downward dog. Get your heels driven to the ground and really stretch out your calves here. You could do two foot or one foot, but really sink as low as you can and stretch them out. Two is just sitting on your feet. You do this, your toes touching the ground or your toes planted on the ground and lean back. It really stretches out your shins and your calves, helps eliminate shin splints and just gets your mobility up. Last one is knee over toe, forward leans. This again works on that mobility with your dorsiflexion because if you could do this really good that means you could move with your foot on the ground at a very low position and when you're in a low position everyone knows you have more power you can move faster when changing direction so the better you could get this the lower you can move at your top speeds when you're making cuts juking people out and the better of an athlete you will be thanks for watching this video make sure to share it with someone on your mind right now who's got some pretty small calves <laughs> I know there's a lot of people that probably come up so share with at least one of them if you like what you saw make sure you follow pick six athletics on Instagram and also brief fit so like comment and subscribe all of them <laughs>